all right hey everyone welcome back to another video of the flow builder masterclass and this is himanshu from salesforce makes sense and in this video we'll specifically talk about failed and paused flows right so there are often times when the flow fails or the flow is paused as part of the screen flow now the important thing is like where do i track it where do i find it what failed or what not right so the very first place where you can find it is like if you switch to let's say classic right so if you switch to salesforce classic and you are on the flows page let's go to flows page here so if i just go to setup and i say flows so you'll notice that all the flows are listed here be it active inactive but then down below you have another section that says paused and failed flow interviews right so anything that is paused from any user or has been failed will show up here so there are two list views available here one is the paused flow and the other one is the failed flow now if you switch to let's say the failed flow you'll notice okay some of the flows failed right so for example this was one flow that tried executing on the 3rd of January, I believe as part of one of our use cases, right? And it failed, right? Delayed tasks for a closed opportunity. This is the flow that failed three times. This was an auto launched flow. What version failed? This version failed. Who was the person who last modified? Is this, this is my alias name. And then what is the current API name, right? So it is same as the flow API name. Now you'll also be able to see when did it fail. So this failed on 8.53 p.m. on the 3rd of January, right? That, that's, that is when it failed. Now, do I need more information, right? I have more information available here, but then I am talking about something like what really failed, what went wrong. So for example, let's say I open this particular failed interview, right? So this is a flow interview record. Okay, and this is something that gets created every time a flow is executed. A flow interview record gets created inside Salesforce. This is more like an internal object. So you can see this particular flow ran and it failed. You see the status failed here. And why did it fail? Because this particular action failed. Delete tasks failed. And why was that so? Because there were no records that matched the device criteria. So you can very well take a look at the paused flows and the failed flows from the list view and then accordingly debug or assess what, what went wrong and how to rectify it right for example you were about to close your day and you just you know activated a flow in production and then something went wrong in the evening and the and by the time you reached uh, you reach office or your work the next morning you had a lot of emails from business saying you know something went wrong you know why am i receiving this error and a lot of screenshots and everything but then you don't really get to know you know what failed but if that was the last bit that you developed or you know implemented or activated the first thing you can check is whether the flow interview failed right so this is where you can see okay i built this uh, just last uh, last day and this is what i activated probably this is the reason what failed so let's take a look at it and see what went wrong or you know what can be done to rectify it right and the other way to look at failed flows or you know to get to be notified every time every time something goes wrong is something you'll find on the process automation setting right so this is something similar to what we have on process builders this is the same automation setting here. This is where you can actually set up the default workflow user and you can put down an email address. This is the email address wherein whoever is added as part of this email address will basically receive any kind of errors that are that happen because of the actions or errors, right? So every time any event process or auto launch flow triggers, they will use this email, this particular email address to send emails for actions and errors. All right. So in order to set this up, you can either use this email address or whoever is the default workflow user can be set up here. Okay. And one more thing is like, let's say you created a flow, right? And you activated it and something went wrong with it six months later. So you will get a notification of it, right? Because you were the person who last modified it. All right. When did we come to this particular screen? The previous time we came here because we wanted to pause flows. Remember in this part of screen flows, if you want to enable the pause feature on screen flows, you have this button available here, which is let users pause flows. Correct. And then you have also this option that says let users resume, resume their shared flow interviews. So this is also another option that's available here. Okay. But this time what we are looking at is if you want to get notified for any kind of errors, you should have the default workflow user set to the user who needs to receive the email addresses, who need to, who needs to receive the error errors. And this is the place where you need to set the email address so that you are notified of everything that goes wrong. Okay. 
So that was about paused and failed flow interviews.